Hello, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah and today I'm showing you guys how I created this crazy blue eyeshadow look right here. So if you guys want to see how I did this look and what products I use, then please keep watching. Also, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and if you feel like being nice, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram handle is at the Hannah Jensen and you can find the link to my Instagram below also. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm filming in a new setup today and you wouldn't freaking believe how long it took me to actually start filming. I tried to use my Mac computer as my monitor because I have like a little TV monitor. I wanted to try and get rid of that and just use my Mac, but it wasn't working. So anyways, I just had to set everything up and figure it out. But anyways, I'm here and I'm filming and I am going to start by <laughs> moisturizing my face. The point in telling you that was that um, I'm a little frazzled right now. So if I seem frazzled, it's because I freaking am frustrated <laughs> from trying to figure out this new setup, but we'll get it together, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Magic Cream Moisturizer to moisturize my face because my skin is a little dry. I like this stuff, but it smells like sunscreen, and I don't know if there's sunscreen in it. I threw the box away, and it doesn't say F SPF on the, um, jar so I don't know if it just smells like sunscreen or if it actually has sunscreen in it I guess I could just google it I'm also using a new tripod and it's like way too tall for my desk so I'm like looking up at you guys now I don't know if you can even tell I'm not sure if I like it or not I kind of like when the camera is more like directly at me like this is me looking like directly forward straight forward this is me looking up I just kind of like when my camera is more like eye level but we'll see I think I might return this one and get a smaller one but the freaking smaller tripod was like 70 bucks oh my god okay so after I moisturize my face I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and for eyebrows today I'm gonna be doing some benefit brows I'm gonna start by using the benefit 24 hour brow setter this stuff is really good it's just like a clear brow gel I'm gonna brush it through my brows I kind of like to brush them like in the opposite direction that the hair grows and then brush them down nice and neat just so that they all get coated in this gel and then I'm going to take my trusty finger and just kind of push them up like this. I like my brows to be like a little feathered looking, so that's why I do that. Now I'm going to take my Benefit Cabrow. This is just like a brow um, pomade. And I like this one because... This is the little pot with the product in it. And then the brush is also a part of this little thing. So it's all inclusive. And I'm using the shade 4.5. My eyebrow hair is a little bit dark. I should have eaten. I'm like getting anxiety and I'm like shaky. Okay, and I'm just gonna use this and fill in the sparse areas of my brow. Okay, I honestly took a break right now to eat a breakfast burrito because I was like, <sighs> getting shaky because I, I get anxiety when I need to eat. Okay, so I'm fed, I'm full, I'm happy, let's move on. Now that my eyebrows are done, I'm going to take the Benefit Boying Cakeless Concealer. I'm using the shade number two, and I like to use this to carve out my brows. I find that this concealer dries really quickly though, so you need to make sure that you blend it out kind of quickly, otherwise it'll like almost stain, if that makes sense. And I'm just using a flat little brush it's like flat I don't know if you could tell it's like flat and square and this one is I think it's from Alamar Cosmetics I'm not sure though because the name rubbed off so it's just a little flat eyeshadow brush I really like these for carving out the brow elf sells a really good one for like Reebok isn't this setup so much better than the last makeup tutorial I did though oh my god the last one the lighting the backdrop everything was so shit so um, we're improving we're getting better okay I'm gonna take this same concealer and I'm gonna use this as an eyelid primer so I'm just gonna take a little bit on my eyelids and I'm going to buff this out with my morphe e8 brush and I'm just buffing this out all over the lid okay for eyeshadow today I'm gonna be using the James Charles morphe palette and I'm gonna be recreating or trying out a makeup look that Atlee did she did this like blue really I don't know I thought 
thought she just looked super sexy and it was like this blue eyeshadow look and I really like the way that it looked on her so I wanted to try it on myself so this look is inspired by her I don't think I'm using the same products as her I'm gonna do like my own version because I don't even think I have the ones that she has but I think that she recommended using this palette um, one of the colors in the palette as like a uh, dupe for the eyeshadow color that she used I watched that tutorial like a few weeks ago so I don't remember now but anyways my point is is that this look is inspired by a look that Atlee did okay so I'm gonna dip into this palette and I'm gonna be using this shade right here I'm pretty sure the shade is called oh brother but I'm not 100% sure this palette came with um, like a plastic insert sheet that had like all the names of the shadows but I threw it away because it was just too annoying for me personally to have it stay in this palette so I got rid of it but anyways I'm just gonna take this big fluffy eyeshadow brush and start blending this shadow all over my lid I'm just gonna use it as like an all-over lid color I've used this palette a few times. I've had it for so long and I've only used it like two or three times and I like it but I feel like the eyeshadows are a little bit chalky. I'm gonna switch brushes because I'm pretty sure that that brush had dark eyeshadow on it and I'm kind of mad at myself right now because I should have cleaned it off. You know what? I'm gonna have to take that off and start over really quick because that bugs me. I did that last time in the last video and I don't know why I just used a dirty eyeshadow brush. Shame on me. Good thing I have these little Neutrogena singles though. I love these so much because it's literally just one little makeup wipe. Oh my god, if I can open it though. It's one little makeup wipe in this little package. These are nice and I'm just gonna wipe away. Good thing I don't have any face makeup on right now. Note to self, clean off my freaking eyeshadow brushes before I use them. Oh my god, why did I do that? Alright, I'm gonna reapply a little bit of that concealer. Alright, good as new you guys. Look at that. Saved. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a different eyeshadow brush and the same color. This eyeshadow brush is from Pink Dust Cosmetics. It doesn't have a number or anything, but it's just this big, uh, fluffy eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna stamp some eyeshadow onto my lid, and then I'm gonna start blending it out all over the lid. And now the color looks, uh, better than what it was, because it looked a little, like, mm, muddy, kind of, because it was mixing with whatever dark shadow was left on that other eyeshadow brush, so now it looks more true to color. But anyways, what I was saying is I really like this eyeshadow palette because all the different colors, and they're pretty pigmented, as you can see. They're easy to blend. I find that they're just a tiny bit chalky, but other than that I really really like this palette a lot and I've decided that I'm gonna be more playful with my makeup because lately I've been wearing like the same makeup look all the freaking time the same colors literally the same eyeshadow palette the same makeup like I don't know I've just been kind of unmotivated I guess because everything that recently happened over the last couple months but I'm starting to feel better and more inspired and I'm excited about makeup again and I'm excited to play with makeup and get creative and have fun so that's what I'm gonna do. Hence why I'm wearing blue eyeshadow, you guys. All right, using my Morphe E30 brush, I'm gonna dip into the palette and I'm gonna hit this nude shade up here, which is a little too dark for me. It looks really light on the monitor, so I don't know how it's gonna look in the actual video, but it's a little too, like, peachy dark for me. I want, like, one shade lighter than this. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade on my brush and then I'm gonna dip into the white shade too and I'm kind of just gonna go back and forth and mix those two together. And I'm going going to lightly buff out the edges of this eyeshadow just to create a nice blend and get rid of any harsh lines. Sometimes I'll just use like a naked clean eyeshadow brush with no product and just diffuse the shadow that way but sometimes I'll use a little bit of like a nude skin tone color and blend that way too. Okay I've been wanting to use this so bad since I got it. I recently got this well like a few weeks ago now from Colourpop. This is the Jelly Much Shadow in the shade Ventura and it's so freaking cool it's like a literal jelly eyeshadow it looks like it's white but I'm gonna swatch it on my hand so you guys can see it right now because it's cool so it's like iridescent it's not even like doing it justice on the freaking TV <laughs> monitor but it's this like iridescent almost like blue like icy purpley bluey whitish <laughs> like iridescent shadow it's just so freaking pretty 
and I'm gonna put it over this eyeshadow right now okay so I tried to apply this with a brush and did not like the way that it applied and I figured it would do best with my finger so I'm just gonna take some onto my finger and just press it onto my eyelid it's a little chunky I don't know see how pretty that is though it literally like glows like it just brought the eyeshadow to life it's a little chunky so I don't know if mine is like drying out or if I just have too much product on my finger but it does blend out like into a powder if that makes sense it dries down and yeah I feel like it's best to just apply it with your finger how freaking pretty is that though don't you love it I love it so much I hope this look looks as good on me as it looked on Atlee because every time I think of blue eyeshadow I think of Mimi and I feel like that's what I look like no offense Mimi okay I'm gonna take a clean eyeshadow brush and just blend out the edges of that jelly eyeshadow that I just laid down because it does blend once it's on the skin but I find that it applies much better with your finger all right for lashes I'm gonna wear these ones these are from embellishes embellishes <laughs> And bell lashes. These are handmade luxury lashes and these are in the style dreamy. These look a little crazy for me so hopefully they look good or else I'm really gonna be looking like Mimi from the Drew Carey show. Alright these lashes are a little bigger and curlier <laughs> than I normally prefer but we're gonna go with them anyways okay I usually like a shorter like spikier type of lash these ones are very like curly but we're just we're just gonna rock them okay okay so for primer I'm going to use the Smashbox primerizer it's like a primer and a moisturizer okay so I'm just gonna rub this all over my face like I would a moisturizer this primer is very like liquidy I really like this one though it's very hydrating so if you like a hydrating primer you'll probably like this one I would say it's um closer to the feel of like a moisturizer for sure I need to exfoliate my skin feels really dry I've been like hiding out in my room for the last like three four days because I've repainted reorganized purchased a new bed new mattress like I've redone my entire room and it's still not done but for the most part it's like 80% done okay so that's what I've been doing and I haven't worn any makeup it's been really nice to just like be secluded in my room and just like work on my shit you know what I mean but it's time for some self-care I need to like moisturize and exfoliate <sighs> take a bath I have a lot of dry shampoo in my hair today okay for foundation I'm gonna use the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation this is in the shade 2.0 this is a for light skin tones and the undertone is warm. I'm super pasty right now, so I'm hoping that this one looks good because I've had trouble matching my foundation to my skin lately. Normally, I'm tan, so I know how to match foundation to tan skin, but not my, like, pasty skin. I like to pump this out directly onto my face and then blend it in with a big, fluffy powder brush. This one is from Royal and Lang Nickel. I think this foundation is gonna look nice because it matches my neck, finally. So I'm just going to buff this foundation in all over. All right, I want to brighten up my face a little bit so I'm gonna use some of this concealer from Benefit Cosmetics this is a boying concealer the same one that I used for my eyelid primer and this is in the shade number two and I'm gonna buff this out with my morphe e8 brush and this is just gonna brighten up my under eyes a little bit so here's concealer on this side and no concealer on this side there's like a huge difference I just look like dark and dingy right here but I look right and I also feel like using concealer you know I like love and hate using concealer for my under eyes sometimes I feel like it looks too much and sometimes I feel like it completes the look or it makes you look more like polished or you know what I mean I go back and forth but right now I just wanted to show you the difference between concealer and no concealer all right to set my under eyes I'm gonna use this peach perfect loose mattifying setting powder from Too Faced so it just looks like this I like to dump a little bit out into the lid this stuff smells so good and it is so mattifying sometimes I feel like it's too mattifying to be honest for me anyways I've stayed away from this stuff for like a really long time but I want to try it again and I'm just going to use the smallest amount to set my under eye area I like to set my nose too because for some reason foundation slides around my nose so much and yeah this stuff is so mattifying so if you want to be super matte I would definitely recommend this powder because I almost feel like it like sucks you dry <laughs> like seriously it's like so mattifying Mattifying. I haven't used it in a really long time because of that, but I'm giving it another go today So we'll see how it wears so far. It looks really nice. So I definitely look very matte and I'm 
I'm just using my Real Techniques setting powder brush to set that concealed area. I probably should have done my cream contour before setting my face, but I don't really care because it's going to look fine. All right, I'm going to go in with this contour stick from Milk Makeup. This is in the shade Baked, and this is a matte bronzer. I just like to draw a little line right here and here. And then using this angled fluffy brush, this is from Pink Dust Cosmetics, I'm just going to blend this out. It blends out so nicely, and I like to keep it pretty concentrated in this area but I don't want it to look like I smeared like dirt on my face you know I want it to look like there's a chiseled cheek once I get that blend how I want I kind of just go back in and like tap it out around the edges of that blend just to soften it contour always makes me feel better I don't look like flat okay so for blush I'm gonna use this one from Charlotte Tilbury this is the sex on fire blush it kind of looks like a boob not gonna lie I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and then dragging it up and out okay I'm realizing that this is where I need to be very careful because if I <laughs> oh my god if I put too much blush on I'm definitely gonna look like Mimi from the Drew Carey show so I'm realizing that right now I have a little bit too much blush so what I'm gonna do but first I'm I like to put a little blush up here just to look a little sun kiss wow now I look like a clown but what I like to do when I put on a little too much blush is take the same bl brush <laughs> Oh my god, the same brush that I use to apply my foundation and I like to go in and take whatever product is left on the brush and just diffuse the blush with the leftover foundation. So I still have that little bit of blush, but it's not crazy like this side. I love blush so much because it helps you look like flush and alive, but I'm really seeing that heavy blush and blue eyeshadow isn't a very good combo. Not gonna lie. Okay, so highlighter, I'm gonna use this one for from Pop Beauty. This is an old favorite of mine. This is the Gilded Light Highlighter. This one is really good. I haven't used it in a long time. I'm taking this on my Anastasia A23 highlighting brush and I'm just going to take this onto my cheekbones. I love this one because it's like shimmery versus glittery, you know? So it looks almost like it's just such a soft, like, I don't know how to describe it. Almost like natural looking glow. I don't really like chunky glitter highlighters. I love this highlighter so much. I've been sleeping on this one. It's just been sitting my in my drawer waiting for me to use it. How sad. Well, today's the day. I hate that I do my eye makeup in this order because I'll do the upper lid shadow and then I'll do my face and then I'll go back in and do the lower lash line. It really shouldn't bother me as much as it does, but it totally bothers me that I do my makeup in this order. I don't know why. Does it bother you too or do you not mind? Because I need to know. I'm going to take the same blue shade that I used on my lid and I'm just going to be very careful because there's a lot of fallout and smoke out my lower lash line and connect it to the eyeshadow at the top and I'm using my Sigma E25 blending brush to do this and this is just going to complete the look. Okay I'm going to take this black gel eyeliner from Smashbox and line my waterline with it. I really don't like these lashes for this look. I like the lashes but I just wish I would have chose a different style for this look but oh well I'm so picky when it comes to stuff like that I'm gonna take my bad gal bang mascara and I'm gonna give my lower lash line a quick little coat and I'm gonna give the lashes a little coat just at the base to blend them with my natural lashes I like to move the wand side to side to really just get the lashes nice and black oh, I don't like these lashes I want something like straighter do I rip them off or do I wear them let's put on lipstick first before I decide to ruin this eye look. <laughs> Okay, so for eyeliner, for lip liner, I'm gonna use my favorite, the NYX Natural Lip Liner Pencil, and I'm gonna overline my lips, which are very dry and crusty. There's a pair of eyelashes that I'm thinking about, because now I, all I can think about is changing these lashes, and I feel like the, I think they're called Bambi. I feel like the Bambi lashes from House of Lash would look way better. I'm gonna see if I have some. If I have some, I'm totally gonna put them on. I forgot that I feel like this lip pencil is too dark for me when I'm not tan. I can't even concentrate because that's how much I don't like the lashes that I had on. I already ripped them off you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna use these lashes right here. These are from House of Lashes. I feel like these are the Bambi ones but I don't remember if that's what they're called. I'm pretty sure these are the Bambi ones though and I just like how they're like straight. 
versus the other ones were like super curly. I don't know. I just don't like really curly lashes. I feel like they look cheap. I like the straight and spiky ones. I'm getting sweaty. I'm like kind of stressed. Okay, and for lipstick, I'm going to use this Lippy Sticks from ColourPop. This is in the shade Aquarius. And it's just like the creamiest, prettiest nude ever. It's like almost exactly the same color as my lip liner. Just a little bit lighter. So creamy. Like almost like liquid. It's so creamy. And I'm going to blend that in with my finger. I kind of want to make my lip a little bit lighter. I'm going to add a little bit of this Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit in the shade Caught You Bare Naked. This one's really light, but I'm going to add a little bit of, a little bit into the center of my lip and I'm going to use my finger again to just blend that in. I just want to tone down the color a little bit. This is an interesting look. I need my roots done, you guys. They're so dark. Okay, for setting spray, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Peach Mist. This is also a mattifying setting spray. I really like this one if you want to be matte. So it has the worst, like, sprayer ever. And that is it for this crazy blue eyeshadow look. I freaking love that like jelly, what was it? Oh, the Jelly Much Shadow from ColourPop. I love this and I can't wait to use it again. It definitely has a blue, oh I just washed my hands. It definitely has a blue like shift in it, but I feel like you could use it over so many different colors. I even want to try using it just by itself because I think that it's really pretty. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments or concerns leave them in the comment section below or just come say what's up to me because I love to talk to you guys and don't forget to subscribe so you can see my future videos and I will see you guys next time bye